Shugborough inscription look from afar at the 18th century Shepherd's Monument in Staffordshire, England, and you might take it as nothing more than a sculpted recreation of Nicholas Poussin's famous painting, Arcadian Shepherds. Look closer, though, and you'll notice a curious sequence of letters. D-O-U-O-S-V-A-V-E-V-M, a code that has eluded decipherment for over 250 years. Dot it has never been satisfactorily explained and has been called one of the world's top uncracked cipher texts. The inscription became widely known after being mentioned in the 1982 book The Holy Blood and the Holy Grail by Michael Bajant, Richard Lee, and Henry Lincoln. Though the identity of the code carver remains a mystery, some have speculated that the code could be a clue left behind by the Knights Templar about the whereabouts of the Holy Grail. Many of the world's greatest minds have tried to crack the code and failed, including Charles Dickens and Charles Darwin. The monument was built sometime between 1748 and 1763, commissioned by Thomas Anson, paid for by his brother, Admiral George Anson, and fashioned by the Flemish sculptor Peter Sheemakers. The relief copy of the Poussin painting is contained within a rustic arch and shows a woman and three shepherds, two of whom are pointing to a tomb. On the tomb is carved the Latin text at an Arcadia ego, I am also in Arcadia or I am, even in Arcadia. The carving displays a number of small alterations from the original painting, and an extra sarcophagus has been placed on top of the main tomb. Above the Poussin scene are two stone heads, one showing a smiling bald-headed man, the other bearing a likeness to the goat-horned Greek god Pan. Below the relief carving on the monument, an unknown craftsman carved the mysterious eight letters contained within the letters DM. On Roman tombs, the letters DM commonly stood for dis monibus, meaning dedicated to the shades. One suggestion is that the eight letters are a coded dedication by George Anson to his deceased wife. In 1951 Morchard Bishop speculated that the letters might be an acronym for the Latin phrase optimi uxris optimi soris vigilus amantissimus vovit virtutibus, best of wives, best of sisters, a most devoted widower dedicates this to your virtues. Steve Rajimble interprets the letters as standing for a new Latin translation of the phrase vanity of vanities, save the preacher, all is vanity. Ecclesiastes 12.8, namely orator ad omnia sunt vanitas eight vanitas vanitatum. He has speculated that the phrase may be the source of the earlier inscription omnia vanitas which may have been carved on an alcove at the estate of one of Thomas Anson's associates, George Littleton. Former NSA linguist Keith Massey interprets the letters as an acronym for the Latin phrase oro ad omnum sequantur viam ad verum vitam, I pray that all may follow the way to true life, in reference to the biblical verse John 14 6, ego sum via et veritas et vita, I am the way, the truth and the life. Margaret, Countess of Lickfield has claimed that the inscription was a love message, referring to the lines out your own sweet veil, Alicia, vanishes vanity. Twixt deity and man thou, shepherdess, the way, but no source for these words has ever been traced. A.J. Morton observes that some of the letters match the names of the residents of Shugborough in the early 19th century and believes that the inscription denotes the words or grave united with Overly and Shugborough, Viscount Anson Venables Vernon. Speculation then grew that the inscription may encode secrets related to the Priory of Sion or the location of the Holy Grail. As part of the Shugborough promotion, some individuals who had previously worked as codebreakers at Bletchley Park pursued this line of investigation. Oliver Long proposed that the letters may encode the phrase Jesus H. Defy, where the H supposedly stands for Christos, Greek for Messiah, and the references to a Jesus bloodline which allegedly descends from a non-divine Jesus and was preserved by the Priory, Sheila Lawn, his wife, preferred the love story theory. Despite the couple's previous employment, neither of their suggestions enjoyed reliable cryptanalytic support and both were presented as speculative. Read more.
http colon slash slash www.mnn.com slash lifestyle slash arts hyphen culture slash photos slash one zero hyphen of hyphen the hyphen world's hyphen biggest hyphen unsolved hyphen mysteries slash shug for o i and s c r i p t i o n number i x z z three x eighty q z p five b. Thank you.